Hi, we are at Santa Barbara City College and we will be covering two very important programs, SPARK and CARE. With me is Program Coordinator Melissa Plasencia. How are you, Melissa? Good, how are you? I'm, I'm good and we're glad to have you on our show. Melissa, what is the purpose of these two programs, SPARK and CARE, and what do they stand for? SPARK is Single Parents Arriving Ready for College and it's a summer transition bridge program to transition single parents back into education, getting familiar with the college and the programs that are offered to students here on the campus. CARE is a program through EOPS, which is Extended Opportunities Programs and Services, and a CARE student is a single parent who comes back to school and is part of EOPS and receives welfare or CalWORKs. Let's talk first about SPARK. How many students register per year? It's about 35 students. Um, this year we have 33 students finishing the program. Uh, we have some that don't finish due to having to find a job or other situations that come about. What are the most important topics and values that you show through the program? Through SPARK, students learn time management, they learn budgeting, they learn note-taking study skills, they learn all the different services that are provided to every and all students here on campus, and they become familiar with the staff and our office, and they form relationships with our other students that are in the program. Therefore, when they come back in the fall, they feel confident and not as nervous to continue or pursue their dream of higher education. That's great. Now, I understand there are a lot of activities with their families themselves through the program. Can you tell me more about those? Correct. Monday through Thursday, they attend a personal development class for single parents. That personal development class is specific to single parents so that they can be successful in college. And Fridays, they have mandatory field trips. The field trips consist sometimes of just the students themselves, so they can build their own relationships within themselves and bonds and with us as well. And some, we take the kids with us. For example, this year we went to the park and had a barbecue with them. We did the zoo and we had another barbecue for 4th of July at the beach. And what that does, it provides students the parenting skills to also accommodate with their children the time that they need because they set aside so much time for studying that we want to teach them also, don't forget, this is important. You need to spend time with your kids doing simple activities such as the beach, zoo, or the park. Good. Now let's talk about CARE, which is the other program that you uh, coordinate. What are the most important values that you show them to sustain their families? In CARE, they um, also enroll in the personal development course that is also taught during the regular academic school year, not just in summer. And we also have on campus a single parent club, and we encourage all students that are single parents and are part of EOPS CARE, we encourage them to be part of this a club because they can also have a voice. They have a voice on campus, they have a voice within themselves, they provide their own support group to one another. Good. Who can apply? I know they need to be single parents, but are there any other requirements? Um, other requirements include being educationally and financially disadvantaged, uh, meaning that they're first in their family to attain higher education, uh, low income, and uh, what EOPS does, um, in addition to CARE, is we provide students with book grants so they are able to purchase their books. We provide students with additional school supplies, that's for CARE students. For example, binders or calculators or any type of supplies that they may need. What we want to ensure is that they achieve higher education with nothing stopping them, without anything being in their way. Great. Now, let's talk about the child care because that's a huge help that Santa Barbara City College provides somehow. Um, what happens at this learning center? Uh, through EOPS CARE, students can apply for child care subsidized program. You must be eligible for EOPS or CARE. Not all of our students' children go to Kinko's. We try to place most of them there. At Kinko's, students can go over there. It's within walking distance from the college and they can spend time with their child whether it be during lunch time and again providing additional bonding with their children while they're both in learning settings. That's a good way of parents and kids learning at the same time. Correct. Let's go and meet some of your students because I would like to you know ask a few questions and see how they feel with the program. Sure. Let's go. We are now with one of the CARE graduates. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How many kids do you have? I have one. 
How old? He's seven. He just turned seven. Good. <laughs> so it was very helpful for you, this program? Yes, it was uh, very helpful. What was the most important lesson that you learned through the program? The most important lesson that I learned in the care program was that it's essential to have support uh, while going to school and continue your education. And without it, I don't think that I would have come as far as I have or graduated. And what was the most valuable skill that you learned that you are still applying? The most valuable skill would be learning how to juggle home life, school life, um, working, being a single parent, time management, and other things like that. Well, thank you, Tanya. I wish the best for you. Thank you. We are now with Natasha. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. You just graduated from Spark, right? Correct. Tell me, how was the experience? It was wonderful. Um, it gives you tools to use, you know, while you're going to continue here with, you know, the fall and the next years to come um, to just, you know, know that you have support out there and know that, you know, there's people willing to go above and beyond the motto of EOPS to do anything that you need for school, you know, like help or tutoring. You told me you have how many kids? Two. And what can you bring from the class that you will apply on your daily life with them? Um, time management and uh, learning just basically, you know, to ask for help when you need it. But mostly time management. Okay. So. Well, thank you, Natasha. I wish the best for you and your kids. Thank you. We're back here with Melissa. It was great to meet those students. So brave what they are doing, really. And lastly, could you leave us with uh, contact information so new parents can apply to these programs? Correct. Students can contact me, um, Melissa Placencia, 965-0581, extension 2384, or my email is mplacencia at sbcc.edu. Melissa, thank you for all that information. I wish the best for you and both programs, and I hope you continue with the good work. Thank you very much. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.